For the benefit of Mr. Beckel, we're on the air. Um, we are? Welcome back. Yeah. All right. Well, son of a... Oh, okay. Right. Do, you, do you mind? Really? <laughs> Not at all. You, 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 this isn't even funny. Uh, it, in case you didn't know. All right. Let me, let me, we were talking off the, and the question is, can this president run on this question? Are you better off than you were four years ago? Mm -hmm. 17 more million Americans on food stamps. We have 47 million Americans now in poverty. The unemployment, underemployment, 29 million Americans. And Bob is the only one here on the man, panel. Manufacturing can, higher than it's been in 15 years. Are we better years? off than we were four years ago? I, I absolutely do not think that we are. And you think I mean, Americans this perceive George that? Bush, May well, it depends. I mean, well, look, there's a problem because what we've seen now over the last couple of days is Obama come out with a completely different approach to his reelection campaign. He said he's for capitalism. He believes in the free market. So the question is, are voters on one hand, going to look at the reality? Right. I mean, are they going to look at what's really happening? Are you guys for cutting taxes on the top 1%? Or are they going to believe him uh, again? Let me answer that question. If the president thought we were better off than we were four years ago, he would look into the camera and say, are you better off? He won't ask it. Instead, he invents imaginary friends like Julia, and he uh, puts out a, a ridiculous rhetoric about Mitt Romney. He will not answer that question, do, do because you, by any objective standard, the country is in the ditch. Do, do you guys want no to cut taxes on the top 1%? Yes, you mean, I do. Absolutely. Wait, wait, I do. You think those percent, people deserve wait, wait, hang on a second. Cut? The 1% okay. that pays 42% of the, the income tax bill, remember that. And yeah, because, and they be percent because, percent because they're making, you know what the average CEO makes of the people working on Why don't we just take it away? Why don't we take it 500 all? To, 500 to 1. Let's take it all. It's I think you could take a lot bigger than Chuck that we're taking Absolutely. Let's take I, it right I'd out take of about 80% of I, yours. I think you and I think you're, you're all your rich liberal willing, friends I'm ought to donate I'm more than to pay my you share, you know Buffett. why? Because what, people in the upper brackets have gotten bigger tax breaks than anybody else since Reagan no. took off. No. Every one of them, including Clinton gave The top 10% pay 75% of so the wealth. The bottom you know, 50% pay nothing. And they own 80% of the wealth Did in the country. Did you note that Elizabeth Warren, who's a one percenter right. running in, uh, against Massachusetts... By the way, you gotta love that issue. You mean Chief Warren. And Elizabeth Warren was offered the chance to give more money and pay that Massachusetts higher break, and she never did. So why don't you get the people, Democratic Party, to step up and send in those you checks? Know, and I make said, I said, with you, I sent a check into the Internal <laughs> Revenue Service. You know that? With How much? Check off your, uh, for 2000 bucks. Well, I think you and you should get all your liberal friends to do that. Then well, we'll, I think and then all Elizabeth Warren. I just say this. Joe Biden I, I didn't even give 2000 in charity for crying out loud. If the best you guys can do millionaires, you're in a bad spot. You mean Joe Biden, the cheapskate? You, you, you defend liberals millionaires. Are only but, that's as simple as that. You want to give breaks to millionaires. That's Look, what you want to do. Joe Biden and liberals are generous with other people's money. Yeah. You liberals and, and pay and first, you, and, you want, and then we'll talk about it. You want millionaires, so all yachts bring up all boats. Is that right? When we come, Not exactly. When we come back, our own Mark Siegel, Dr. Siegel, traveled all the way to Texas to a company. Company, former President George W. Bush on his annual Wounded Warrior bike ride. He, we have his exclusive interview with President Bush next.